Zach, hey. She's nearly ready. Come in. Thanks. Francis. Showtime. Yep. Uh, two minutes. Zachary. Jonathan. Looking mighty fine. Wait till you see Francis. Smirking. Okay. Where are we going? Our uh, bedroom. Oh, uh, no, not for that. No, but I want to stay. Yeah, enjoy dinner. Uh, we'll do. But you know what? We'll miss the best. Talking. Wonder how the date's going. Mmm. Clumsy and awkward if Francis has anything to do with it. <laughs> you are so mean to her. Why don't I say it all with love? She knows that. <laughs> well, I hope those guys sort it out. I never really understood why they broke up in the first place. No one did. You know, sometimes you have to go through a bit of a process to make you realize what's important. Mm, common sense, thank you. Why can't there be more of that? Should we know what you're talking about? Rich and Wes don't want to have Olivia christened. Right. Mm. <laughs> and that's a problem because... Because all the grosses have been christened. It's what we do. Well, technically, Olivia is not a gross. She's a Fitzpatrick. I'll stop saying words now. I was raised Catholic. Like the full-on catastrophe. I don't consider myself even remotely religious now. Even though it's what you're brought up believing? Because it's what I was brought up believing. Homosexuality is a sin. And I lost count of the number of times I heard that. It's a huge part of the reason I felt I had to live the lie I did for all those years. It's definitely not sad to have to move on from that. Back to christenings. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jen. Doesn't matter now. I made Bridget Moise see sense. How? By telling them that Mum and Dad would be very disappointed if they said no. So, in other words, you bullied them into it? I don't bully people. You made Bridget and Wes agree to something they don't want to do. Sounds like bullying to me. 